welcome back to my youtube channel i am here today to talk about a product that i started to use and it's called retinin also using hydroquinine to work alongside this product too it is a retin a product and i know there's kind of like a few retinoids in that category the one i'm trying to use today is going to be tretin um it's 0.05 dosage um, and the hydroquinine that i'm using is four percent um the reason why these products work hand in hand together is because one will kind of renew the skin cells on your skin and the hydroquinine will just bleach the places which are very dark so it's important for you when you're using a type of bleaching um, agent um, is to be careful where you place it on your skin because you don't want to whiten the whole um, effects of your skin and guys once you do that it is a permanent thing so it's probably not a good idea to place it everywhere all over your skin because um, that's not what we're going to try to do I do have like a few issues with scarring and marks and a little bit with acne actually um, when I was younger I kind of went through a phase whatever everyone kind of went through that phase of having acne and bad skin um, and I thought eventually it would kind of like go away um, now the acne has gone um, however I'm left with a lot of the scarring on my skin um, and then I found that it would disappear however if I got a new spot on my skin then I would be left again with another scar so obviously that is incredibly frustrating as you want to achieve like clear skin um, underneath your makeup and you just want to you know sometimes feel confident in yourself and I feel that that's not the case for me so I did invest and look at different products to use on my skin um, that would help it and I mean I've been through tons and tons and tons of different stuff that did not work for me um, I can remember off the top of my head using just black soap using kojic acid soap um, <sighs> using a range of different creams, papaya, um, everything I've used, I cannot tell you the stress and the level of um, her and egg I've had to go through with using those different products that didn't exactly work the way that I hoped and wished it would. So um, I have now invested myself into looking at tretinin, um, tretinin and hydroquinin. Um, and I know it's really difficult to come across into the UK, so I'm literally gonna leave you guys the link down below. But I'm also gonna advise you that I'm not a physician, not a dumb and this is not coming as a recommendation to you guys but it's just my experience and if you guys want to do the same thing for yourself I'm going to leave the link down below and you can have a look for yourself I'm not going to tell you that this 100% works for everyone because everyone's skin is different and for me it's my first time ever trying it and I am going to see for myself if it does work and obviously not everything in life works exactly the same for everyone now that I've got that out of the way I'm going to quickly talk about the products for you guys and literally what they're supposed to do now how I place tretinin on my skin is I literally will wash my skin clear of makeup, make sure that um, my pores are closed when I um, wash my skin and put on cold water just to close the pores up. Also because tretinin doesn't work on top of water you have to make sure that your skin is completely dry, um, pat your face dry with a towel gently. Then I like to wait about 10 minutes before actually placing the tretinol on my skin because water put, um, kind of acts like a barrier so it stops it from actually penetrating so you want to make sure that your skin is dry. Once I've done that I then grab myself the hydroquinone but only waiting 30 minutes um, if I have time in the morning to try to allow the tretinin to probably like to properly um, drive itself into my skin. Um, I know that then using the hydroquinone straight after only I'm pinpointing the spots and areas where the scarring is on my skin, I literally will use this in that area. Um, once I've done that, it should then start to penetrate the skin. Um, I then also know that another tip that I've learned as well is that not to go straight to bed once you've done that skincare routine. So try to at least do your skincare routine at least 30 minutes before you go to bed. Um, I like to try to do it for an hour so that everything quickly lit or will literally soak in properly. And the reason why I'm saying that is because if you put on all your things on your face, like anything, like any skincare um, regimen, um, any creams or oils or anything that you need to kind of like stay on your skin you find that you literally put it on and go to bed and then you'll literally start rubbing it off in your skin so it will just end up all on your pillow your pillow will have the skincare regimen on it and that's not what we're trying to do so it's really important to make sure that you actually leave some time before you go to bed for it to actually soak into your skin and not actually get rubbed off um, I learned that tip from the hyperpigmentation clinic, so um, it'd be a really good idea for you guys to kind of have a look at what might work, what products work for your skin there. Um, that's where I've kind of got most of my 
education from. After I put on the hydroquinone, on just on the spots and dark areas of my skin, I then grabbed myself vitamin E oil. Um, vitamin E oil can stop um, very dry skin. So retinoid can actually dry out skin because it's a peeling process. It'll start to peel like bits of your skin and kind of cause you to kind of like renew the surface of your skin. So obviously, um, since it's a peeling process, it's important to make sure that you put on some oil or something that penetrates the skin. And I know that vitamin E oil is the most penetrating thing for me anyway, um, that you can use once you put on that cream. Um, also, you need to always make sure that you don't go straight out into the sun. Okay, because um, going out into the sun um, with hydroquinone on your skin and retinoid is really damaging to your skin. So it's important that you make sure you put on some sunscreen and the highest factor, um, which is about 50, um, which is important to put on your skin, just because you can damage your skin and also reverse the process of what you're trying to do, which is uh, lighten the dark marks on your face. Um, retinoid also kind of leaves your skin kind of like at a, if you wanna say, just leave your skin kind of in a vulnerable state. That's what I'm gonna say. So it leaves your skin in a vulnerable state to the sun. So if you was just to go out there with no um, sunscreen, just even with retinol, if you wanted to use, um, that like forget the hydroquinone, it will literally like damage your skin because your skin is shedding and the under layer is coming out and you're gonna just allow the sun to like burn it basically hydroquinine also you're kind of going to end up reversing the effects because if you're trying to lighten some scarring on your face put your hydroquinine on to lighten it and then going into the sun without sunscreen will darken it and then you're just literally going to keep going in a back and forth state where you're trying to improve it it looks good for a few days maybe you go out in the sun and it goes right back to where you started so it just makes the journey a lot harder so it also is important just to use sunscreen on your skin anyway even without these products you should be using it because it just helps to keep your pigmentation clear um, and it's just not good to just allow the sun to just penetrate your skin without having protection and a barrier on it anyway um, that's something I learned and I have literally started doing since this beginning of the year so you know a lot of people don't actually know that it's important to wear sunscreen daily now the sunscreen that I have um, used is literally Fit Factor, 5, uh, Factor 50 and again I'm going to insert the link in the bottom for you guys to go and get if you wish um, but I do recommend you get the highest as possible um, just to protect yourself at the utmost. Um, so literally I haven't really got much to tell you with the first usage of this cream. I'm putting on the um, retinoid, it literally just kind of like caused the little spots that I had. Like I had a little few spots kind of like coming up in this area here and it's because I'm coming up to my cycle. Um, so obviously I've started to get a few spots here and um, on this side kind of briefly here. After putting that on yesterday, I literally started to notice that it kind of caused the spots to kind of like uh, dry out. So that already proves that um, it's starting to work. With the hydroquinine, I can start to see a slight difference and I'm not saying, oh my God, it's working already. Um, all I'm saying is I literally start to see that scar that I had on my skin um, in these areas. Um, they are starting to lighten. So I will keep you guys updated with the progress of this tretin and the progress of the hydroquinine. Um, I'm going to update you again probably in the next two weeks um, showing you the differences that I've got from today um, until two weeks time. And then I'm probably also going to do a month update where you can kind of see the effects on my skin. We can see if the products are actually working really well. Um, but I do have high hopes for this because um, I do know that it is something that is normally prescribed by dermatologists that know that, um, that acne sufferers need something um, a bit stronger. Um, so I have quite high hopes for this and I'm actually looking forward to seeing the results and I'm really hoping that it does work out for me and for any of you guys that might have the same problem. Please also, before you log off this video, like, comment and subscribe. If you have any comments, please leave them in the description box or any questions for me, I'm happy to answer. Um, and I look forward to seeing you guys again. Thank you so much for tuning into this video and I hope you have an awesome day. Bye.